Hi, my name's Tom Lever from Lower Curzel Young People's Group. I'm the project manager there. Last year we was lucky enough to secure some funding from New Deal to do a climate change project. Um, the title of our project was called Made in Salford. And what we wanted to do is come up with some products that we could actually make in Salford. Like if you actually look in your cupboard and things like soup, you know, they come from South America and all that mileage. We wanted to try and make a simple thing like soup from Salford, taking the ingredients of our allotment or taking the uh, fruit and veg to cook it, like leeks and potatoes and tomatoes. And we also, it's like the spoons, just the wooden spoons sometimes come from Thailand. We wanted to make one from Salford trees and sometimes the, the pans as well, they, they sometimes come from abroad. So we wanted to make a, a pan in Salford. So we've actually got in contact with um, a couple of people, uh, Salford College, to see if they could make the pan, um, Start to see if they could make the wooden spoon, and obviously in and our own allotments, uh, taking the vegetables from here to make the soup. But to do all that, we've had to go on a journey. Uh, we put a group together from Lower Curzon and People's Group, uh, and we split them into uh, different groups, uh, a scientist group, a cooking group, and uh, a production group, a group that can help put the film together. What we've actually done, we've, um, we went to a place called Offshoots in Burnley, which is a um, permaculture centre in Burnley, which is basically all about uh, sustaining yourselves. We've had a real good day there, and young people learn quite a lot. We've also interviewed a scientist and an inventor about climate change. He was quite knowledgeable on, on his uh, topic. Um, we've also um, been to start to learn about uh, wood. We've also had some um, uh, soup uh, testing sessions. They were very interested where Leslie, who works for Lower Curzon Young People's Group, our qualified cook, made the homemade soups. And also we've got three tin soups of the same make. And it was very interesting that a lot of the young people um, like the homemade soup. We also designed um, some uh, designs there for the cups that we're going to make. Um, these were original designs, but as you can see, there's quite a lot going on there. And I think that was too much for us to put on our cups. And I think we actually came up with this design now, which says leakable, likable soup. And it shows, um, obviously, the leeks and the potatoes made in Salford. And this is the group's logo, which we put on the group. And we we're also going to do uh, a tour of the allotments so we can educate our group more about the allotments and about uh, how, how how the allotments uh, recycle stuff like that and you know, and about the bees here that they've got here that would be very interesting to link in with our project so that's going to be filmed on Saturday and then we're going to go back and talk to some local people with our group to see how knowledgeable our young people are as well so that's another session we're going to do we're near the end of this project now but I'm hoping when it all comes together that uh, people are very interested in what we've actually learned and whether we can pass this information on to other people to, to try and grow their own fruit and veg. You don't have to have an allotment to grow your own fruit and veg. You can grow stuff in your own backyard. And also about recycling, that's very important as well. So I'm hoping somebody might come and see this documentary and might start doing something about it.